Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Oh my gosh, so today we're doing another one of my fabulous YouTube videos. It's been such a long time since we have reacted to it, like another YouTuber, like an actual YouTube video. I've been doing like Instagram ones for a long time. So this person, well, this video has been sent to me like with about 200 times in the past week. I've literally been inundated with it. So I thought, right, I'm gonna do it. So this is a YouTuber called Savway. I have no idea who this person is, although they do have 306 thousand subscribers which already means I'm probably gonna get upset because I'm sure she's not promoting good things but quickly if you are new to my channel hello um please hit the subscribe button I do videos every single week regarding a whole variety of piercing stuff and lots of like fun things in between so hit subscribe and the notification bell don't miss anything and anyway join the fun let's get the videos let's go Ooh. hey guys Ooh. welcome back to my channel Hi, yeah. so today I'm gonna be doing a super dumb and reckless thing she's reading herself I'm gonna get so much hate for this video like I get on all my other piercing videos there's oh, a lot of support but there's also like a lot of hate as well and people just commenting piercing channels and trying to get them to react basically trying to get them to hate on me or <laughs> trying to get them to react to me but to I wonder who she could be talking about such a record <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming then that she's probably done this before and people have tagged like tried to get me to react to it again it's one of those things that she's like it's hate it's hate calling someone out because they're doing bad things on the internet and promoting bad things isn't hate it's just holding you accountable when you do like bad things. Today I'm gonna be piercing my ears. Gonna I got ears. piercing needles this time. So the first time I actually pierced myself on camera was I pierced my nose and I used a safety pin. It was not the best, but it was all I had and I was oh, really oh. determined to do it. <laughs> it was all I had, so why not girls? Yes, because that's how life works. Oh my God, can you imagine? It, which very dumb if you're gonna pierce yourself just go ahead and order needles just get the stuff but i no no needles, don't so no 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 needles how many needles is she awesome. why is she first of all why the hell has she got like 50 needles like how many more piercings has she given herself second of all no do not say to your audience she's she's kind of young so i'm assuming her audience is going to be very young as well like let's be honest don't don't be saying if you're going to pierce yourself make sure you get needles no don't say that at all you don't pierce yourself at home at all I'm not using gloves. That's the one thing I'm not doing because it's harder for me to grip stuff whenever I have gloves on. There's not my thing and I'm piercing myself. If I were to pierce someone else, I would for sure 100% use gloves, what? but I'm not using gloves because- <laughs> I love that she's not even done anything yet and I'm already like this. <laughs> I'm not wearing gloves because it's just not my thing. It doesn't matter if it's your, I can't, I can't. It's not my thing. Can you imagine actually saying that I'm being serious? Also, if I'm piercing someone else, why are you piercing someone else? Who are you? Like, you're not a pier- like, you're clearly not a pier- why are you- what if I- <sighs> If I'm piercing someone else, oh my god. Ugh, this L Grey is getting me through this, Jesus. Some things that I've learned with piercings and stuff, or at least in Texas, I know to become a piercer, you don't really take like a course or anything. Like you don't go to school to become a piercer. You literally just apprentice people. So you're basically just watching people and practicing and that's how people learn. So I'm just gonna be doing my own sure. piercings. I don't recommend that you do this at home unless you are confident that you can do it. No, you don't, not unless you don't do it at all. I've been piercing myself for a really long time. I've never had anything infected. I bet be able to tell. Beside my belly button. I just feel personally more safe doing it myself, so I'm gonna be doing it myself. You feel more if safe you doing it yourself. Don't feel safe, or you don't like people piercing themselves, just don't watch this video or just don't do it. Simple, like I'm gonna do it regardless. So hating on me and telling me that I shouldn't do it or commenting other YouTubers to react to me is not gonna make me not do it. So, you know, it's just kind of pointless. But yeah, so I'm gonna be piercing <laughs> She has a really bad attitude really bad attitude like this is the oh so i had my triple helix but the top one closed up because it did get infected and i got this one done at a shop and it got infected probably because you weren't looking after it i already have three lobes so i'm just gonna be pure <laughs> she talks a lot of other shit can you get on with it my industrial this is my most Ew. recent ear piercing that i have and it's healing perfectly fine i did get it at a tattoo shop and it did collect a little bump right here so you but think rubbing it with that, your doing fingers fine is now. a good idea oh, this is the thing that like, she's she's going on as if like she knows what she's doing and everything then she just like rubs the piercing that's clearly not healed yet with some dirty hands and i really want to pierce my double cartilage over here how many pieces is she giving herself what's she doing <laughs> is that she got Two hours later. Go ahead and put this headband on just to get my hair out of the way because I have like pretty viciously long baby hairs. Viciously long? 
They attack her. Oh, I've got an advert, Jesus. Videos like this should not have adverts on it. I'm going to go ahead and go wash my hands. Oh, gonna go and I'm gonna make hands. sure I film it because I know a lot she's of people are gonna film gonna it apparently. And I'm also gonna be using hand sanitizer on top of doing that as well as I'm gonna put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on my hand. So it's gonna make sure it's all sterilized and my jewelry so has damage been your skin sterilizing out, you know, in this dry your skin out, why not? This is just what it looks like. They've been sterilizing for ever since I started doing my makeup. I mean, that's not how you sterilize something, but okay. Wait, so now she's, so did she, did she just like pick up the camera and take it to the bathroom to then wash her hands to then pick up the camera to take it back? Like, does she not know how germs works? <laughs> oh God, it's like there's people who are wearing gloves because they're scared of the stuff going on and then they like touch their face still as if the gloves are... I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then just pour some in my hand and then just rub this around on my hands. Just make sure I extra sterilize my hands. You're using all that stuff on your skin, it's just gonna dry your skin out. This part of your ear, whether or not you know it, can get really, really clogged with earwax. I don't want to pierce it from the back forward just because that's the way. She just said this part of your ear can get really clogged with earwax. I'm, if this part of your ear is getting clogged with earwax, there's something wrong. Like your earwax should not be going at the top here. Like, what are you doing? I've never in my life ever had earwax up in this part of my ear. This part of my ear actually does bleed a lot. So if you don't like a blood, definitely don't watch because this ear piercing- Wait, is she not even so like- I think I know where I'm gonna do it. So now it's just piercing time. As you can see where it's bleeding a little bit, that's why I pricked it. So that's where I'm gonna pierce it. Wait, stop, 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 so. <laughs> So she marked her ear, just like, would not like like a proper pen that you're meant to use or a bit of ink, you know, the stuff that you're meant to use for piercing stuff. She decides to prick her ear and that's how she's marking her ear. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot in my time, girl, but this is the first time I've seen something like this. Wait, what is she, wait, she's, she's, she's just like pushing it to her finger. Oh, no, wait, oh. She's not doing that. I can feel it on the other side. I don't know. If you wow, can see it. she's it's literally just pushing it to her finger. Like That's awful. Part. You cannot get a good angle of that kind of piercing doing stuff like that. This is horrendous. Okay. Ew. So I've got it through, as you guys can see. And it's it, bleeding that a lot positioning is horrendous. This area of my Choices, choices, choices. I'm gonna get off real quick and figure out how to get this jewelry in because it's gonna take me a little bit of time. She doesn't know how to get it in. Like, this is what we know. She's like, I know what I'm doing. I don't know how to get the jewelry in, but I know what I'm doing. And the angle is not the best, but this is like a weird mm, spot. Yeah, for we can tell. Anyways, so it's always gonna look kind of weird and show the back. No, it won't like always look much, kind of weird. Not what is she right going on about? No, if you get it done right in the right position, the right angles, it won't look weird. Oh my God, she, like, I just can't, I just hate, the thing is, I really hate this attitude of the whole thing of like, I know what I'm doing, therefore I'm gonna do it. Like, oh my God, that, 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 that is, you, you don't know what you're doing. Stop pretending like you know what you're doing. Like it's just bad and you're promoting this to your, this, this video has got almost 150,000 views. Like this is horrendous. Like horrendous. I highly recommend if you're going to pierce yourself, get needles, like get piercing needles. No, the stop hollow inside saying makes it so that. much easier and so much quicker stop to pierce. And you really, saying like, that. I couldn't feel that. So irresponsible. This is what I really dislike about people of her age having audiences like this because they're just irresponsible. Like saying things like that, you just, just buy needles. It's so much easier. Like it's just irresponsible. You, are, you have such an, you will have an impression. It's people like, let's be honest, like older people won't be watching her. Like it will be like 12, 13 year old girls who watch this. This, this will be the primary audience. And like that's it, you're promoting that to that age. Like, it, like the, her, no. I don't remember ever being like that when I was this young. Like I felt like, you know, I was loud and I was a bit obnoxious sometimes, but like this kind of like arrogance where it's like, I know better than anyone else and I will do this no matter what. Like I, I just, I couldn't imagine being like that. So now before I pierce any other area, I'm gonna go wash my hands again and I will show you again that I'm washing my hands, but I'm gonna go wash my hands again because I did get a little blood and that's just not very sanitary. Because everything else in this video has been sanitary. Again, did she just, did she just pick up the camera? That could have some dirt on it. Or does she, have, does she always just have a second camera always fixed in her bathroom? Like this is, it's just, 
It's just, she has no idea how germs work. <laughs> like, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do an 18 gauge. Like where will, where will all those packets store? Just in a drawer somewhere that could have went dirty, dust? I'm not really gonna be using anything to mark this just because don't want to. Because why not? Why, why not? Why not? Why not mark? Why mark anything? I can feel it on the other side. It's just, it guys, it's just more. bad. This, this is bad. This is probably one of the, one of the, worst ones I've seen actually from video wise just just the whole aura of this whole video the whole attitude the whole the whole thing in this video is just bad that was so easy that was so and I'm gonna get people now going oh stop hating she, her audience where will come in stop hating on her if you don't like it don't watch it's like no I'm not hating this is what I mean this this whole attitude of like hating on someone means you're you know no, no, when, you, when you're holding someone accountable, when she has a massive audience like this, you have to be responsible and she's not being responsible. Criticism is not hatred. To try to get it as even as possible. You're probably not going to, let's be honest. This one's through, I can feel it. It's definitely through, I just need to keep pushing. Yeah, that is my little ear piercing video. I did three piercings today. This one just feels a little bit tight, so that's not always the best, but it's okay. It's, she keeps touching it. She's going on about but how it feels like tight, I said, she's still touching it. If you don't like it. these types of videos, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have watched in the first place if you knew that you weren't gonna like it or you were just gonna comment something mean. I mean, it's kind of obvious whenever you click on a piercing video that that's what I'm gonna be doing. So if you don't like that type of video, then you shouldn't have clicked on it in the first place. But if you did like this video, then thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. She is so angry and like, she, the thing is, she is so defensive and what she's so defensive instantly. And the only reason she's being this defensive is because she knows what she's doing is wrong. And she knows what she, she's gonna get some criticism for it because what she's doing is wrong. And she's promoting bad things to her audience. She's doing bad things and making it seem like it's okay. And the reason she is getting so defensive of everything, being like, oh, stop, stop it, leave me alone. Why would you, it's because, it's because she knows what she's doing is wrong. Going by her own logic, if you see this video, why would you watch it? If you know you weren't gonna like what you were gonna see, why would you click on the video? Piercing yourself at home is not an easy thing to do. It's not a good solution to do. And at the moment, we're, what we're, we're going through something at the moment, which is bad. You know, I'm not gonna talk about it because I can't because I'll get demonetized, but like this current situation in the world, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible time for you to do this. Because if you get a really bad infection, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to be treated. If you do something like this to yourself and you really have damaged yourself or something goes really wrong, you, it's, you know, the chance of you being treated is like down here where normally it would be up here. Like it is a terrible time to do stuff like this to yourself. This video is like a week old. Like she's only just done it. Like it, it's a terrible time to do it and it's so irresponsible. Do not do this. But this whole, this, this, again, that entire video was just that she had such an angry attitude towards everything. She knew what she was doing was wrong. She does it and she's basically, a lot of it comes as well because she's scared that I'm like, I'm gonna react to it. Let's be honest, like I, like at this point, like let's not, let's not pretend. She was worried that I was gonna react to it and she really didn't want me to. There was anger there towards me. I haven't done anything. And again, she'll be pissed off at me because I've done this video because apparently it'll be hating on her. No, it's not hating on her. She did something irresponsible and I'm calling her out for it because it's a bad thing what she's doing and it's just awful to promote that kind of stuff to your audience. You have a really young audience. Your audience is gonna be like maybe 12, 13, the, like that kind of age group. And it's just, she'll, she'll have a very similar audience to what mine is. And my, my demographic is very young teenagers. And I think that that is just an awful, awful thing to be promoting, um, no matter what your age is. If she's gonna have this much of a following on the internet, she needs to learn responsibility and that's irresponsible. So just before you do disappear, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button down below, come follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is linked down below and in the comments. Come follow me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good kind of stuff. Um, but, oh, it's a burping, burpy, whirpy. Thank you everyone who has subscribed. Thank you everyone who did all the love and all support recently. Um, and you know, I will be back very soon for another video. Um, the first place to be gay, be everything you wanna be. The little bitch that tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless. Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand. Oh, hang on, that's wrong girls. That's wrong girls. All right, move that there. <laughs>